In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the derivative by the delta method. This is question two in the series. The question reads, find the derivative of the function y is equal to three over x squared plus one by the delta method. Now I've given this question a hard rating because in question one, we looked at a simple function and the function was y is equal to three x squared. In our case here, we have a fraction in the variables in the denominator position. To do a question like this, we need to follow the following formula shown here, where dy over dx is equal to the limit as delta x approaches zero for the following expression. Our first step is to substitute x plus delta x into the x of our function, and y plus delta y into the y part of the function. Let's go ahead and do that. Now this question requires a lot of room, so make sure that you have enough room while working along with me. Substituting y plus delta y into here, I end up with y plus delta y is equal to three over this part placed into there, x plus delta x to the power of two plus one. In step number two, we have to model this part so that it looks like this. Once I have it looking like this, I can substitute this part into the numerator of this limit. Let me show you what I mean. To get from here to here, I have to subtract both sides by minus y. So if I subtract this side by minus y, I need to do the same thing here. And remember what y is equal to. y is equal to three over x squared plus one. So in my next step, I'll rewrite the right side, but instead of this y, I'll replace it with what the function was. Now if I replace this y, with what my function was, I end up with three over x plus delta x to the power of two plus one minus three over x squared plus one. The next thing that I'll do is find a common denominator to combine these two fractions. That's not hard to do. In fact, all you do is multiply the denominators together and then take this denominator, multiply it to the negative three and this denominator and multiply it to this three. If you do that correctly, you should end up with three bracket x squared plus one. And this denominator times negative three gives us negative three. And you can put this whole expression in square brackets. x plus delta x squared plus one. All over this denominator times this denominator. Our next step is to expand the numerator and keep in mind that this whole expression is the numerator of this limit. We haven't included the delta x yet, but we will. So three times x squared plus one gives us three x squared plus three. Negative three times these two terms gives us negative three bracket x plus delta x squared minus three all over x squared plus one, the denominator has not changed. Notice that this negative three and this positive three can cancel out. And if we expand this part of our expression, we end up with, and I'll show my work over here, negative three times, we'll need to expand this binomial It's not hard to do. We end up with negative three x squared plus two delta x times x plus delta x squared. Now I'll expand this negative three into the whole thing and that gives me negative three x squared minus six delta x times x minus three delta x squared. I'll take this expression and replace this part with this expression. And now notice this will cancel out, leaving me with minus six delta x times x minus three delta x squared. This can now be common factored very easily, where we end up with negative three delta x bracket two x minus delta x. 
over the same denominator as before. Now what you can do is replace the expression that you just found into this limit. And if you do that, you'll end up with the limit as delta x approaches 0 is this expression divided by delta. If you divide this expression by delta, you'll end up with an extra delta in the denominator of this expression. So I'll rewrite this with the delta at the bottom. Now that I have that written, I can cancel this delta with this delta x, and I can take the limit as delta x approaches 0. If I do that, the delta x in the denominator goes to 0. The delta x in the numerator also goes to 0, leaving me with negative 3 times 2x over x to the power of 2 plus 1 bracket x to the power of 2 plus 1, which means x to the power of 2 plus 1 to the power of 2. Therefore, the limit of this function dy over dx is represented by the following expression. Negative 3 times 2x, or simply negative 6x, over x squared plus 1 to the power of 2. And there you have it. That is how to find the derivative by the delta method.